Hello, hello everyone. It is time for November's completed adult coloring pages. I actually have quite a few, um, although some are whips. <laughs> and I don't know if I'll actually finish them or not. I do have some downstairs that I am plugging away at that I do plan to finish, so I'll just save those for December. Um, please do excuse the lighting. We are having a snowstorm today in November, <laughs> but I'm not going to complain because we've been in a drought. So anyway, off topic, back to topic. Let's get started. So I must have been on a Hannah Lynn kick this month because um, I have quite a few Hannah Lynns. And one of the ones I'm working on downstairs is also a Hannah Lynn. So let's start with Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls. This is a pocket size, so see, hand size. All right, um, so yeah, let me just pull off the tag. So I did this one here. Uh, this was with Prismacolor. I usually like to do Prismacolor in these. I don't know, it's just more my favorite. I had received some Ohuhu glitter paint pens. So I've been kind of using them to sparkle here and there. And I've also been trying different nose techniques. Um, not sure I like this one, but it is what it is. Okay, and then I have this one. This is also done with Prismacolor. I could probably zoom in a little more for these smaller ones. Um, the background is an Ohuhu marker. I just threw that down to keep it simple. Um, I did add some of that Ohuhu glitter marker to her eyelashes and then the heart and then like her hearts are outlined and dotted with the glitter. I don't know. This is fun. Again, you can see I'm trying this new nose. Not sure I like it or not. I normally don't add noses. I just leave them. Okay. Then we have this lovely. You'll probably recognize this hair color because it's one of the ones I almost always use for Hannah Lynn. However, I love it. <laughs> um, this is also Prismacolor. And then an Ohuhu marker background. And then I just took a white gel pen and added bubbles. There were some that Hannah Lynn had left. And then I added more because there weren't, I don't know, enough. No glitter or anything. Just is as it is. I was playing around. These are just so fun and easy. And I love that, well, most of the page is hair. And I think that's why I do these. <laughs> okay. This one, I know I shared on an Instagram story. <clears throat> At least the hair. I was playing around with that. But this is also Prismacolor. Um, so yeah, I was just kind of playing around with a, a combo that I seemed to follow this um, fall. <laughs> but uh, I did do an Ohuhu background and then again added more bubbles. I did add, yeah, for this one I used the Ohuhu glitter on her eyelashes again. And then the little fishy tails. I'm just playing with those. Okay, this one... I think I did this at the very beginning of the month. Um, this is definitely Prisma as well, but yeah, I really do like uh, I like the way this one turned out. I don't like the hair though. I was trying a different color combo than my usual purple, and I just don't like the way it turned out. But it's still cute and pretty. Um, ah, okay, this is not Prisma. This is Brute Furnish Squares. I just wanted to see how they worked out on the paper. I've been testing a few of my favorite pencils on um, Create Space paper. I'm not gonna put my expensive pencils, like my luminance, <laughs> on these. But I've been trying like Brute Furnish Squares and all that. <clears throat> um, I did add some of that Ohuhu glitter to her eyelashes. And then these little dots here, but it might not sparkle. Uh, the brew fooders actually did really well. Uh, I don't like the skin tone too much, but I, I don't do a lot of portraits with these, so that could be part of the problem. But yeah, um, still it turned out well, and they did well on this paper. I did have to use a blender pencil. That's it from here. 
oh gosh, this book is a hot mess. Let me zoom out just a little. This thing is falling apart. <laughs> this is Enchanted Faces, another pocket size from Hannah Lynn. Um, I had started this one, so I did a marker base. And I was going through with pencil. And then I decided I hated it. <laughs> so I just left it. Um, let's see. For this one here, this is Prismacolor. I don't know which way this picture is really meant to go, <clears throat> but I had some fun. I just added some Spectrum Noir glitter to her wings and the, the Pegasus wings. And then, of course, did my usual favorite hair colors. This is the normal purple one I do. And I like the way it turned out. And then just an Ohuhu marker background. Okay. Um, this one is all Prisma as well. I did use a Sparkle Pop pen for the gold, and I drew in some stars freehand as well. <laughs> but see here, this is a little thicker nose than the other ones I was doing, but I was just playing around. But yeah, I like the way this one turned out. It's kind of cute. I did this one at the beginning of the month. Um, again, this is Prisma. This is a random palette. Uh, so. I scrolled through my Sarah Renee Clark, and just the palette it landed on is the one I did. As you can see, I was playing with the nose again here. Didn't make it dark enough, though. Um, all Prisma, except for the sparkle pop on the gold. But yeah, that palette actually wasn't too bad. I like the red hair. I wish I would have added more contrast. But yeah, that's it from there. I need to rubber band this book together. Okay, in my second copy, yes, you heard me right, <laughs> second copy, um, I had bought another one because there's some that I just had so much fun coloring. I know I did one in here. Just a matter of finding it. Oh, there it is. Is that the only one? Yeah, okay. So this was all Prisma color as well. And honestly, I think I was trying to recreate or redo because I've done this one, obviously. Yeah, I was trying to refine the red hair. <laughs> so this is the one I had done originally. I didn't like the blue because it like blended too much with the blue background. So I went purple and like this nice sagey color. And then I was trying to fix the hair, but I like the hair in this one better. <sighs> just can't win. I do have the bigger version, so maybe I'll just retry it in that one. I really need to just get the digital version. Okay, so from Fantasy and Fairy Cuties, this is the latest from um, Daria Sakasoy. Uh, I have a page in here that I just realized is a whip. <laughs> I thought it was done, but it's not. Um, I was going to do the stars and give it a background, and I didn't finish her other eyeball. <laughs> So I gotta go back and finish that. Um, so this is all Prismacolor. The hair is Pro Colors, Derwent Pro Colors. I think it's just so freaking adorable and so perfect for fall. It's called Cinnamon Coffee. Um, yeah, I had planned to do stickles with these hearts and then maybe like a, hmm, I don't know on the background yet. So I do want to put this one aside and not accidentally put it in my bookshelf because I do want to finish this. I love the way the hair turned out. Um, I've been playing with my pro colors, working on some combos. I really like that one. So I set that over there because it's a whip. Okay. Then we have this one. Now this is from Kundink's Art. Um, it's a PDF I had actually bought last year. Never got around to it. So I did everything with Prismacolor, but the hair is, um, oh, Brunzeal Expressions. Um, not bad pencils for hair. I wouldn't use them for much else, though, uh, but they did great on the hair. I really need to get these all on Instagram, <laughs> but everything else is Prisma right down to this gold. I think I've shared this combo. It's like an antique gold color. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Gave her makeup, because I mean, she would look kind of weird without it. <laughs> but, um, 
Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so Erica over at Elm Colors is going to kill me because I came to her and said, let's do a body color. And I picked this page because we both love Yana Prosperina. <sighs> Erica, I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> so this was round one. I was trying to do something fun and funky and whimsical and uh, see all that. Let's see if I can kind of lift it up. See there, I I actually ruined my paper. Wasn't going to take any more color. It's a goner. Um, there are ways to fix that, but I just got frustrated. So I took a week off, went ahead, redid another one. Same colors for the skin, same colors for the hair. Although I have to say, hmm. I'm thinking this side's hair looks better. Um, so round two is not here because I literally got so mad I shredded it and threw it away. <clears throat> so then we hit round three. Same colors for the skin, same colors for the hair. And I think by then I had just ruined my mojo because you can see kind of the hair looks a little choppy here. Much more smoother here. Now this is with Prismacolor, so I don't normally do hair with Prisma just because I don't like the way it looks. But this one was smooth and you could tell I took my time, whereas this one I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm doing this for the third time. So it's all chunky and, <sighs> well, yeah. So I made it this far on round three. I actually like it, but I think I'm just so flustered and over it that it might just have to sit aside for a while. I love you, Erica. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I did try. Okay. Uh, so this is in um, Hair Inspirations Natural by Mariola Budek. Now, I was playing around because this is one of my 10 books to finish. Books. It's a PDF book, but still. Um, I was playing around with my polys. All month, I've been playing with my Prismacolors. And I'm not going to lie. I've actually been enjoying it. Um, I pulled out Polly's, I pulled out Pablo's, uh, other pencils, and I just was not happy. I just kept going back to my Prisma. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. I'm comfortable with Prisma. I like my Prismas. Why fight it? <laughs> that said, I cannot do hair with Prismas. I, I mean, I can. I just don't like the way it looks. Um, so I was trying a new red combo. I did write it on the back so that I could come back to this one but I did not like the way it was coming out so I may try my pro colors with this one instead maybe even Pablo I don't know so I may reprint this one and redo it but for now that's just gonna go in the whatever pile okay so from um, Teresa Goodridge autumn charm I have a few in here. Okay. So this one here I started on my channel using the Fantasia watercolor pencils. And I did a tutorial on how to color corn. I loved how it turned out. I just never got to the rest of the page. <laughs> Life has been really busy. So I'm going to save this and work on it later. Um... This is that Graphitint one that we had started on stream. I still have the Graphitint pencils off to the side. And I just haven't finished it yet. Lots to do here though, lots to do. Graphitint, unlike watercolor pencils, is not quick because you need to put down your layer and then you have to go back in with all the shading. Like if you watch my live stream, you'll see like all this has shading on top of it. So they do take a little more time. Um, this one here, we started on a live stream. This was with the Coran Dash Super Color watercolor pencils. And I finished this up off, off screen. I need to put all these on Instagram. I was going to do a tutorial on how to do wood grain. And I just, uh, well, I got lazy. But I did use my Ohuhu glitter markers for that Hello Autumn. Woo! It's really pretty. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I was just playing around with some combos and creating some fun. 
I did go back over and shade with the super color here and there where I just wanted a teensy bit darker, but I want it to have the watercolor look. I don't want it to look like it was done with pencil. I want it to look like it was done with watercolor. So overall, not bad. Um, I didn't really like the super color on this paper though. They almost came off chalky. Uh, so that was kind of interesting. But yeah, that one is done. Okay, Mandala Mystery by Color Ya. I did a couple in here. I gotta say, I really dislike the these um, color by number ones because the palettes they create are pretty hideous. Okay, so here's one I did. This wasn't too bad, and I think I matched up pretty well. Um, I did change this from a dark brown to a lighter brown, and it was all right, but still, that's just so ugly. <laughs> this one's even uglier, and I think I matched pretty spot on, as well as can be. But gosh, this color, yeah, this one is why I didn't start on the next one, because I was like, this is such an ugly color combo, because I was going to start this one, but yeah, um... I like coloring those because they're relaxing, but sometimes I sit there like, ugh. Alright, so this is a Mandela coloring book by Victoria Chukalina. This is a hardback one. Um, really nice paper. Perforated edges. Oh, I didn't mark. Let me see if I can find the blotter. Oh, I hope I didn't do these all like random. But normally where the blotter page is sitting. Okay, so I did this one, picking my own colors. Um, I have a little bit of glitter gel pen, and then the rest is mostly oh hoo hoo. I know there's another one in here. That's October. Ah, this one. I like this one. This one has glitter gel pen. Can you see just the tiny bit of sparkle there? And then Ohu marker, I accidentally smudged it though, <laughs> but I like the way it turned out. Okay, so this bad boy, bad girl, <laughs> um, I started this. So this is from Lou Art Dreams, um, new artist I had found on Etsy. She's not really new, but new to me. So I found this one, and I was like, oh, this would be so perfect for autumn. Um, the hair is Derwent Pro Color, uh, one of my favorites. And then the rest is Prisma Color. But yeah, I just like lost my mojo. Um, I really didn't like the way the leaves were, and I could have gone back and sketched them, but honestly, I just colored this to have fun with the hair. <laughs> and this may be a forever whip. I don't know. Okay, Autumn Scenes Coloring Book by Teresa Goodridge. Oh, so I had started this at the beginning of the month. Now this is with my Derwent, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> drawing pencils, right? Is that what it is? I don't know, the nice creamy ones. I can't think right now, but um, yeah, these were the Derwent drawing, and they have such an autumnal palette. It was going to be really fun for this page. Um, I was able to create this nice little orange in the pumpkin. Lots of layering had to be done to get these colors, just because you only have 24. <laughs> um, so the pumpkin is like five different pencils, and the wood grain was quite, quite the feat. And I think I just kind of, yeah, lost my mojo on that one and also I don't like the way they stick to this paper they're a very creamy pencil but they don't glide like a prisma so it was just really hard on the hand to keep layering them but I probably will go back but I like what I achieved so that's all that matters I don't know or think I did anything else now these are all from last year this was marked, but I don't know why. <laughs> so, okay, that's it from there. All right, Autumn Coloring Book by Yana Prosperina. Is my 
that for some reason. Oh, so this was the one I had done um, last month. I had started in this book for a buddy color with uh, Jen's Coloring Corner. I tried the whole marker base, which is all the rage these days. Yeah, I did not like it. <laughs> um, so I had a, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. When I went over it with my Prisma, do you see the bleeding? The Prismacolor pencil bled out. It is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Um, and I had asked a few people who have done this, and they were like, no, I've never had that problem. But yeah, they kept coming out of the lines, and so I scanned it, put it on paper I liked. Uh, the rest of these were all from last month. So I don't think anything else was new. I still haven't done that background. So, yeah. Okay, portrait time. These two are my favorite. So this is from Lana Green. Oh, crud. Um, I know everything is Prisma. Like I said, I just kept going back to Prisma. This apple was like a bajillion colors. <laughs> I pulled up pictures of all these fruits and veggies and stuff, and I wanted to try and make them more realistic. These shallots, too. I think there was like six colors in just those shallots. Um, but this apple, I think was like eight or nine. Basically something I never do. Um, and, yeah, I spent my time working on those. And the green dress, I wanted to look all velvety. I really need to put this one on Instagram, too. The lighting in here is awful. It's not doing this justice because this is really cute. Uh, the hair was probably, if I had to go guess, a pro color, hair color. Um, I really like the way this one turned out. Kind of a like nice little dirty blonde almost. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. I didn't give it a background. So originally when I posted it on my community tab, I was like, you know, it just needs a background. And almost everyone that replied said, don't put a background on it. Um, <laughs> so I didn't. I gladly obliged. So yeah, I just left her as is. Um, and I think that one turned out really cute. Okay. So this one here is also from Lana Green. Oh, the lighting in here is not doing justice for any of these. Her skin is a lot more darker. Um, okay, so the hair is also pro color. Like I said, I was playing around with reds this month. Um, I know it looks a lot like the other red hair color that I did in the um, book by Color and Chicks, but it's actually different, different pencils. So yeah, the hair was pro color, and then everything else is Prisma. Um, so the dress, I tried to kind of took me a long time to figure out what color I wanted the dress. I didn't want it to stand out, but I also didn't want to like have it, um, what's the word, like blend in too much. Um, so I went for this light blue, added in some of the cream because the cream is in the leaves and I was hoping that would kind of tone it down. And then I loved the red hair, so I put it like little red accents um, in the leaves to kind of draw that in. And the other thing I wasn't happy with, I should have done more green in this, but whatever. <laughs> I like the way it looks. These little leaves took me forever. And I was like, should I do a background on this? And I'm like, mm, no, she's laying in her background. Why bother? So yeah, this... Between these two are my favorites this month. Both of these took a lot of time, y'all. <laughs> Wish I was joking, but these took a lot of time. Um, you know, the hair, I'm getting pretty quick at hair now. I can belt out hair relatively fast, but these leaves alone, oh gosh, I don't even know. And this fruit basket on her head was like a whole week of hard labor <laughs> so I mean if I had to pick a favorite though <laughs> see I love the hair and the detail here I love the skin you know I don't know I can't decide they're they're tied for me because both of them did a lot 
took a lot out of me, but they were done mostly with Prisma and I was just so happy and having so much fun creating so much depth and dimension in all the, of these elements. And look at that apple. <laughs> Can you see all the colors in there? I didn't even blend it out. I could have, but I didn't want to ruin all my hard work. Look at the shallots. Look at all the colors in there. But the apple. I've got like three greens, two yellows, two oranges, a ton of red, a brown. <laughs> yes, I'm fascinated with the apple because I was really proud of myself. I looked up a little red apple and I'm like, I'm going to do this. And yeah. But yeah, you let me know which you think is better. So that is what I have colored. I did complete a lot more than I thought. I thought I had like a whips galore thing going on. I'm going to try to be better about posting on Instagram, y'all. My Instagram, I looked at it, has not had like an actual post, coloring post in like two months. <laughs> so I need to fix that. Um, life has just been really crazy and I am really struggling to just find work-life hobby balance. But I appreciate all of you. And I'm so glad for those of you who have watched all the way to the end. But yeah, until next time, everyone, take care. Bye now.